And, and one important point that I want people to really understand, because it wasn't until I was in my, probably about my mid thirties that I really started thinking about this and, and maybe getting some understanding of it. And, and you talk about it, Ben Glass talks about it. A lot of people that have been very successful talk about it. And, and it's this idea. If you don't plan your life, if you don't plan your purpose, if you're not deliberate about it, then somebody's going to plan it for you, essentially. And this was, I think this was probably the biggest insight I, I got from Ben Glass. Design your life before you design your business. What do you want your life to look like? And then design everything around that. I'm sure there's a lot of people that are going to be listening that are either furloughed or they've been laid off permanently or they're just worried about their company. Maybe there's business owners that are worried about their company. And uh, I'm here to tell everybody that what Sammy's talking about in terms of designing your purpose is absolutely crucial because if, if you don't do it, matter of fact, I have a little note in my journal that I look at almost every day that says, if you don't design your life, somebody else is going to. In my mind map, I've mapped out my entire life what a perfect life is for me. The kind of car I want to drive, the place I want to live, the kind of relationship I want to have, the kind of relationship with every single one of my siblings. I wrote out my relationship that I want with my grandkids before my kids was even married. Wow. Why? The power of this universe is, like you said, if you don't design your life, if you're not clear, then anything will come to fruition. Yeah. When I wrote down my relationship with my grandchildren, it was the, I know I'm aging myself. I already told you I'm 60. Back then, there was a the courtship of Eddie's father where it was a story of a grandfather, father, and the son. The temperament, the patience the grandfather had for the grandson, that was my vision. That's what I write down. This is not a small thing, what you just explained, and I'm about to answer your question. Coming to Canada at 12 years old, I came from a village that still had an outhouse. Three years ago, when I took my son back to Malaysia, I wanted him to see that your lifestyle that you're living under your father's roof, that's the beginning. So when I had my first job, which I lie about my age at 14, telling them I was 16, I still remember <laughs> the manager says to you, can you reach the sprayer for the restaurant dishes? I jumped up, I said, yes. From there onward, a couple of years later, I started to have a vision of what my restaurant was. White tablecloth, romantic music, candle lights, great food. Everything in this life begins with that vision. The clearer your vision, the more emotion you put in it, I can see what that restaurant looks like. I can see how people, when they finish, what they feel like. That's why the restaurant business was such a success. Everything begins with the vision. My invitation to listener is during this time, as bleak as your outlook is, this is what miracle is. By having a vision, what's your perfect career look like? How much money do you want to make to, to take care of your life? Most of us, sad to say, just like in business, we're always working in the business, not on the business. If you don't work, if you're constantly, the minute the alarm clock rings to the time you go to bed, you're always busy, busy. You have no time to vision. This is why Napoleon Hill, one of the greatest self-help book of this century, if you will, think and grow rich. It didn't say, do and grow rich. What do we do every day? We're so busy doing, worrying, we don't realize the power of this visioning process, how it gets to where it is. That's the process from that little boy to where I am today. It's because everything in my life, I write it out, I vision it, 
I see myself. That's the power of that vision and that purpose that we talked about, Brian. 